Hello everyone, greetings from Northern California. On behalf of all of us at EcoCity Builders, I'd like to thank everyone involved with the Incredible Impacts Award for recognizing EcoCity Builders and DCIT Center for EcoCities. Thank you. EcoCity Builders was founded in 1992 by urban ecologist and city activist Richard Register. We're a nonprofit developing and implementing educational tools and strategies to build thriving, healthy, and accessible urban centers and neighborhoods where all citizens enjoy food security, healthy air, clean water, dignified employment, and lifelong learning. Eco City Builders is the keeper of the longest running conference series on urban ecology and sustainable cities. The first conference was hosted by the city of Berkeley, California in 1990, and has since been hosted on every continent except Antarctica. The city of Vancouver and the British Columbia Institute of Technology hosts the Eco City World Summit 2019, really took the conference series to the next level with the launching of the Center for EcoCities as the legacy of the conference. The center is already working with regional municipalities to further EcoCity goals and deepen the practice and implementation that the conference brought to Vancouver. We're now looking forward to the next steps of linking the Vancouver impacts with the next conference in Rotterdam, which has been further enabled by this generous, incredible impacts award. So from all of us at EcoCity Builders, a big and heartfelt thank you and warm congratulations to our co-winner, DCIT Center for EcoCities. Well done. Thanks, Kirsten, for that important information and history about the EcoCity World Summit. I'm Dr. Jenny Moore, Director of Institute Sustainability at the British Columbia Institute of Technology, also known as BCIT. And I'm going to talk about the legacy project from EcoCity World Summit 2019, the creation of the BCIT Center for EcoCities. BCIT is located in Western Canada and we're the largest provider of skills trades training to the province of British Columbia. We have six schools that comprise the School of Construction and Environment, School of Business, School of Health, School of Computing and Academic Studies, School of Transportation, and School of Energy. We were very excited about the opportunity to co-host the EcoCity World Summit with the City of Vancouver. Here's a short video that tells more about why Vancouver is such a great location for the summit. I'm Gregor Robertson, the Mayor of Vancouver. Vancouver is on the unceded homelands of the Coast Salish First Nations, and we are so excited to be hosting the EcoCity World Summit in 2019. I'm standing on a six acre green roof. This is just a beautiful example of what you're gonna experience when you come to Vancouver, because we're on top of the Vancouver Convention Center. Vancouver is a great place to be hosting this conference because we demonstrate some of the fundamental values around protecting the natural environment side by side with a really dense mixed use environment or built environment. We've got a regional district that has multiple town centers connected by rapid transit and we're protecting and daylighting our streams. BCIT School of Construction and Environment is the academic lead for the development of the international eco-city standards. These standards are going to be launched at the conference. The theme for the 2019 conference is socially just and ecologically sustainable cities. The concept of the ecological footprint and the carbon footprint were developed right here in Vancouver. And to bring it all back home with a major conference of this kind is a real lift for all of us. One of the exciting parts of being involved with EcoCity Builders is the opportunity for BCIT to demonstrate the key role that education can play in helping to change how cities are built we look forward to seeing specialists from around the world come to Vancouver so that we can learn from you. We are very focused on world-leading innovation with clean technology, renewable energy, green buildings, and clean transportation. 2019 is an excellent time to come and visit Vancouver so you can help keep us accountable on our goal to be the world's greenest city by 2020. And when we realize that it requires something like a 60 to 70 percent reduction in the energy and material consumption and throughput, that's a huge challenge. On the other hand, we have the technology and the other capacities needed to do this without massively changing our way of life and lifestyle. When you come to our conference, you're going to experience an eco-city in action. From the time you arrive, it's going to be a car-free city. You'll be able to get around by walking, cycling, and transit. All of our activities are going to happen in beautiful downtown Vancouver with some regional town site visits. We look forward to welcoming you to Vancouver for EcoCity 2019.
EIT is providing training for the next generation of EcoCity builders. We are providing strong technology and skills training in areas associated with the way that EcoCity Builders approaches the transformation of cities to become compact, to generate their own power, to provide uh, food security and other things such as a healthy well-being environment for everyone to enjoy. We worked with EcoCity Builders to recruit a strong cohort of strategic partners, both locally, nationally, and internationally. And through this opportunity, we were able to bring important conversations to the summit and help build our relationships with some of these organizations that would have taken over a decade to do had it not been for the summit. At the summit, we engaged and created a great buzz. And here's a short video that helps explain how and give you the experience of what it was like to be at the summit. As you can see, the EcoCity World Summit 2019 was a fantastic opportunity for people locally to meet people internationally, to participate in new learning, share ideas, find solutions to the problems that we all face in living sustainably in cities where most of the world's population now lives. We also use the summit as the opportunity to create our legacy by, create, by inviting 10 local governments, municipalities from British Columbia to start the work of the Centre for EcoCities. We held a workshop and introduced the EcoCity standards and the important elements of what it means to be an ecologically healthy city, to invest in regenerating nature and to become socially just. We introduced some new tools on how to measure and close the municipality sustainability gap. These 10 municipalities include some of our province's largest cities, such as Vancouver, the partner to the summit, as well as smaller rural communities as well. Over the course of the summit, the municipalities learned about these tools and how to implement them. And the part of the Center for EcoCities commitment is to work with these 10 municipalities over the next two years to help them measure and close their sustainability gap and slowly transform to becoming EcoCities. This will give us an opportunity to engage at the next EcoCity World Summit to bring our ideas and solutions forward and again engage with an international cohort to learn more about how to build EcoCities effectively. The International EcoCity Standards is a tool developed by EcoCity Builders that um, basically maps a course for how a city can diagnose where they're at right now and how they're going to move forward towards sustainability. It comprises 18 standards that are well aligned with the International Sustainable Development Goals and they pro provide the important um, foundation for EcoCity transformation. At the end of the summit, we had successfully built a cohort of hundreds of people committed locally and internationally to the ongoing work of transforming our cities to become eco-cities. I'm so excited and pleased that we had the opportunity for BCIT to become a part of this great movement and for the center of eco-cities to be a legacy for the eco-city world summit series. <laughs>